This is an interview with James Ware for the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute Oral History Project. I'm Dr. Horace Huntley. Today is September 17, 1997. Okay, well, first of all, just thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come and talk with me today about, uh, about your brother and about uh, Birmingham, really growing up in Birmingham. Yeah. Were you born in Birmingham? Yeah, we were. Yeah, where about? Um, mm -hmm. I did Fred City. Fred City yeah. of Black Cross. Uh -huh. Were your uh, uh, mother and father from Birmingham originally? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, they were yeah. born in Birmingham. Yeah. And how many brothers and sisters uh, did you have? I had a five brother and one sister. Uh -huh. Okay, and were you the oldest? Unfortunately. Oh, uh, you're the oldest one? Uh -huh. All right, so you had to had to take care of the, the younger one. Okay. Sort of, I sort of stayed with my auntie for a long time. You did? Yeah, I with my grandmother, my auntie and uh -huh. Did they live in Preston? Yeah, they lived in Preston too. And, uh, and uh, when I got about 13 or 14, I guess, yeah. I went back to stay with my mom for my grandma and my dad. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, I always had a big deal on one of my own car. Mm -hmm. And I always stayed with them and me and my brother to go get the paper route and we were going to yeah. go paper. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's how it all started. Mm -hmm. That particular Sunday, mm -hmm. another one of my uncles came away from Docena and he said, Y'all come out there. Well, he came maybe that stay. He said, Y'all come out there. I'll give you another, I'll give you a bike. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brother going to go get the paper from Fred City. Yeah, and now when I got out of high school, me and him gonna, gonna wrap them up in foam. Yeah, and uh, so we were we were riding those, we rode out those in the you know, to see about the other bike. Mm -hmm. And the guy that day he wasn't quite, he wasn't, he even had quite, he even had it ready. And he said when he finished put it together, he would bring it to us. Mm -hmm. That was Sunday, you know, we were going our way back, and we was on the ham bar and, and uh, ride along. And, so you were pulling in, right? Right, because I was big, I was big, and all the rest of them big little right. compared to me, mm -hmm. so like day and my dad. Mm -hmm. And uh, we seen the we seen the bike coming, you know, the guy on the bike, we seen him coming, and you uh, know, we just kept on coming. And then when they got so close, they just over the They were coming the opposite direction, <laughs> right? Or right? Uh -huh. We meet each other, you know. Yeah. You know, right. Right. Well, when you when you saw them. Uh, did Virgil then say something to you? He, he saw them? Was he yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, when he got shot, he said, wow, I'm shot. And uh, he just fell off the helmet, you know, just fell off the ground. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And, uh, and uh, I stood over him. And I guess five or six minutes later, the car came back. And I told him what happened. And uh, I told him where we stayed. So they, took it. I said, so they turned around and they went back to Blunt. We went about, I guess, I guess, I don't know, we went too far about a mile, mile and a half from home. Mm -hmm. turned around and went back and um, and brought, brought my mom and dad and people down there. Okay. And he was still lying there? Yeah, he did at that time. Mm -hmm. He well, never said nothing after, after that. He didn't say anything after that. He didn't say anything after that. And um, now he was 14, you were 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you remember about? Before before he got shot, you being the oldest and just growing up in Birmingham, what was that like? Uh, you remember when you first started school? Mm-hmm. What, what school did you go? I went to Sanders Elementary. It was a school right down, right back in my back, right back in my you know our house. We had one right down out my back door, right into the school. Okay. Yeah, I never had fun to go. But they had school right out there in the oh. high school, elementary school. Yeah. But when we went to high school, we had to go out in Jack and Oldham. Mm -hmm. Did you walk to Jackson Hole? What happened? My, after that happened to my brother, my mom didn't let us do too much of nothing. She started paying the guy to take take us back and forth to school in, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you wasn't able to uh, do a whole lot of nothing, right? Because she them. swore she lost one. If she knew nothing, they got a beer or two. Mm -hmm. And so, so we, she, I didn't try to argue too much. You know, we had to be like she said, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, what did you remember about school? Elementary school? What, what, anything stand out in your mind about it? You know, being that far out where we was, it wasn't, you know, I mean, it wasn't in the, mm -hmm. you know, in the heart of the end. And, you know, we, we, we blunts were full of, you know, way out of the crowd, you know, yeah. third four, you know, it was, it's all the quiet. We didn't have much trouble. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You know, 
What about your school? And I mean, what you remember at the school? Were there any that you uh, like school? Oh, was died. Yeah, it was pretty good. I like about like anybody else, you know. Mm-hmm. I always had a big, you know. Well, I always had a big dream of. I just all I wanted to do is get grown and work, you know, and buy what I wanted to buy. Mm-hmm. But I remember one time when I went to high school, they give a they give a little test, or they call you that, and they tell about what you know what they want to do when they finish high school, what I want to be, what they want to be. And I told the lady, she said, oh, you're not coming here, because you already know where you want to go, don't you? I told her that time I want to work in Big Steel, mm-hmm. you know, TC and I, because that time, that way I, yeah. I made mm-hmm. a lot of money, you know, so I said, I think I didn't want to work in that job out there. And they some guy I didn't blunt, you know, work that work that and they said they were gonna help me get on. Mm-hmm. And when I got married, I guess before I finished school, you know, the twelve. Mm-hmm. And uh some kind of way in the way I'm about probably Kansas City. Mm-hmm. And that's where you did. Yeah, uh, well what happened? They finally called me out there. Mm-hmm. But I got I started that Friday that Monday at uh Alabama my father and that Friday, uh TC9 called me, and the guy who got on the album by, by process said, Don't go out there. So they always lay off out right there. But you want Holly get laid off at uh, ABC, and I never did. All right. How fortunate. I've been out there 20 years, and I've been pretty fortunate so far. All right. Never laid off. Never got laid off yet. Yeah. Well, before you started working for Album by Product at Jackson Hole, what do mm-hmm. you remember about your days at jail? Well, I took up college when I was in 11th grade. I worked at a service station. I get like you know. I, I worked at a service station, mm-hmm. and in between that, I was working over the mountain cutting grass. Right. Me and my well, me and my dad. My dad had jobs over there. He got mm-hmm. me a job cutting grass over there. Yeah. And uh, I don't take that money plus the money we made off the paper that we're gonna get to college. Mm-hmm. I, and uh, so you say you got married before you? I got married when I was in twelve. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Or uh, you know, I got married made eleven. I graduated and get a big third grade. Oh yeah. So, How you get married so so early? Like, Fell in love? Like more or less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. But uh, I ain't had too bad a time. Mm-hmm. I told them they let us and I hate yeah. that happen, you know, but yeah. yeah. Did you uh did you have children? I got two daughters. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh are you still married to you? Yes. Long? How long how long have you been? Uh yeah, I may have made it 13. I think I made it 11. 1967. 30 years. Yeah. That's, that's an accomplishment. Life, you got that right. Yeah, yeah. So, where are your children now? Well, they both married. Mm-hmm. And they, um, uh, they live in Birmingham. Yeah, they live in Birmingham. I get to live about three. I think I'm in my house. I get to live about three, four miles from me. Yeah, they got their own house. Yeah, yeah. Um, have three grandkids. Yeah. Uh, did the um, when Virgil got shot? Did you know that 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 the church had been? Bombed? At that time, I really didn't. didn't know uh, we didn't know. I didn't know it. I don't guess I knew anything until the to the next day. Mm-hmm. You know, I was, uh, we left early that morning, but then they went to church, Sunday school at church, and we. Our uncle, we told him to go ahead and pick up the bike. Mm-hmm. And we left early, we rode out and We stayed out there with our uncle all day, riding around. He had something like a little junkyard, more or less. Mm-hmm. I just riding around on the bike, and he was up there helping me. Mm-hmm. And uh, I didn't know nothing about the church until we was on our way, you know, I mean, till that happened. Mm-hmm. I get that next day. Yeah, well, what do you remember back. about that day after he had been shot? Do, do you remember your folk coming back? And picking you up and taking you back home. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, cause I stayed there with Bush, but some we don't want up there. I don't even know. You know, we ever stopped my bank got my mom and dad. Were they black or white that, that stopped? You remember? I believe it was white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, they went down to Miami. I just went when I went home, but that didn't come out the house no more. Oh yes, cause they, I told the police, you know, you imagine what like would happen. That's all that. Mm-hmm. I said, all that, I told him there were two guys on a red, uh, little red scooter, one on the back, gave the shoe, mm-hmm. you know, and, uh, and my brother, you know. Well, did you, uh, did you testify? It, at, yeah, at the trial, right. Yeah. How was that? What, what was that about? Well, that was the first time I had seen was at the trial. Mm-hmm. It just, uh, you know, I got on the witness stand. Well, you know, really, what they had said at the time that they thought we had rocks. Mm-hmm. But, uh, 
But uh, did you have any? No, we didn't have any thing. I, I, you know, like I said, he had hold on me both his hands on the arm bar, and it took all I could do to pill him, you know, so we didn't have nothing. And they had said they thought we had rocks, and uh, they had tried that one that was brought up. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I know the uh, Jerry asked me, I mean, you know, they asked me to point him out. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I pointed to two guys. And mm -hmm. I never know how the police found him that court that day. The truth, you know, when he came to my house, I do remember that, that little bit of paper was saying, we think we got a lead on who the war is. Somebody told us something, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing I know, you know, with the grand jury, when they, you know, next thing I know we had a trial. Right, right. Well, how did you feel? Uh, when the verdict came back, well, back then, well, yeah. it went right. I think they got way more than what they got, what they did, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, did you expect them to get any more than that? Tell you the truth, I really want to catch them. Mm -hmm. Thank God, tell the truth, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, not, you know, not that. Well, think about that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to catch them, you know. And I was shocked when I can't think of that lady. Like, that lady came to an interview with me. Mm -hmm. only, uh, on it, you know, at my house, the newspaper right. I was shocked when that guy called me and told me he want to apologize. So he did call you? Yeah, one of them did. He said, I, I, he said, he said, I want to apologize for what happened. And uh, he said that, uh, I know how I, I feel this. I lost a nine-year-old son. I didn't act, you know, we didn't go into details with him, you know. Um, you know. What did you say to him? I don't know if it's apology, you know. Huh. So, you know, you can't go around like it. Hate the world, you know. That's the difference. Cause all they held that, right? Yeah, but I really shocked they caught them. I know they thought they, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are they now? Do you know where the guys, two guys are? They here? No, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I, you know, uh, the newspaper lady got in touch with him, mm -hmm. but he didn't want to talk to her at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I called the lady and told her that he did apologize to me. Yeah. She said she's gonna try to interview me and she get you get back in touch with me. Mm -hmm. She ain't got like, Ooh, well, she said that. Uh, she said that he did apologize, but she said, I don't think he wants to talk to us about it. Yeah, I didn't have to worry about it. Yeah. Were you in the worship club with that lady? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, how did how did the rest of the children feel about what happened to their brother? They well, you know, well, did y'all ever talk about it? Family said and the father. I'm sure they did. They didn't talk to me too much about it. Cause they know how, you know what I mean, about being there with and how it was, mm-hmm. more or less. And, uh, and they were just so gracious. I guess by shooting twice, they said one with me and one with my brother. Mm-hmm. And by, you know, they were so gracious, you know, they God spared me, but they were so happy about that. Right. She didn't want to take no chance on nothing no more. You know? mm-hmm. And I guess my dear most of them ran the family a little bit, I guess. Mm-hmm. So dad, you know, dad, he, 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 well, my dear said, Dad just got one on with it. Where did he work? He worked in the mine for a while. Then he got a job for the board of his kids on Dose in the mine shit down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coal mine. Yeah, he worked coal mine, Dose in. Uh-huh. He stayed out there about 20 something years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But did your mother work out yeah, there? Yeah, she got a home? job at school too. She was a maid. He was a Jonathan. They were two different schools. Uh-huh. What schools were that? She was at Tuxedo in the uh, end in the project. Yeah. Then he went to the one in Pratt City. Uh, yeah. Then he went to Jack and Owen, went to vocation just mm-hmm. before he retired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you had uh, that area though, when you when you uh, were going to high school, it was a lot different than going to school in those single, but I said that's coming around to high school. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, it's different. It's a whole lot of bigger place and people there I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Most of the Sandusky, I guess, pretty much all raised up. Mm-hmm. You know, they had a few, I guess they had some come out of Pratt Center there, but we were practically all raised up. We got out there. And my yes. auntie, I had another auntie, was, 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 at that time they had a, they had a cold stove. Mm-hmm. I mean, cold heat down there. Right. And I had an auntie, mm-hmm. and uh, she was a, she was a maid. At that time, the maid and the jumped to the school in Sandusky. Mm-hmm. She did both for me, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we go down and give her a start a fire morning time, chunk it up, so yeah. yeah. Did you ever go downtown Birmingham? Mm-hmm. What do you remember about that? Uh, <laughs> I used to go down, you know, I got a job, like I said, my dad got me a job over the mountain. And uh, I'd go down here Saturday, kick the buzzer with the best day, cook grass, and kids coming back a lot of times. So my dad he he would be, uh, he'd wake over there somewhere. He'd be different. Sometimes we'd wake in the same place, but I'd rather. He had self people, he did. Yeah. yeah. And he'd be, and when I get through, he wouldn't be through, but he'd just be coming to another job. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was, it was, it was nice and quiet when I got down there. All else, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I would give me a PDF sandwich, catch a bro out, going on over the mountain. Yeah. Do you remember having to sit in the back of the bus? Did that, that ever? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I caught some of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I caught a lot of that. Mm-hmm. I remember. I, I remember, well, even in my job, when just when I come out there, they just didn't. They didn't have what the black. You know, they had a farm for the black one for the white. It was just, you know, they, they were still there, but they took all that off of them. They were getting rid of that. Right. You know, mm-hmm. they, you know, they got rid of it. I guess before they got there, but you know, they still, you still see where they had to rid of on the farm. Yeah. But it, it was fading away. That's when they start putting the cups up there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. I never could understand that. Mm-hmm. You could, you know, you could, uh, you could go to the house and raise the children, but still you couldn't eat what? I'm you the truth. I could never understand that same in my life. It's crazy. Right? You go in the kitchen, cook their dinner. Mm-hmm. Still, you ain't good enough to sit at the table with them. Mm-hmm. I always thought anything I put in my stomach or somebody. They can do that, you know, they show us at the table. I never so. could understand that. It's what they supposed to be. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's the way they were raised to do it. Yeah. That's the way. That's the way the world was at the time. I got that right, but I never was able to understand it. Long mm-hmm. day I lived. Yeah. Did you ever go down on Fourth Avenue? The mm-hmm. Karma, the famous, or the Frolic? You remember the Frolic? I I went. Yeah, I went down there, but I. I, I didn't, like I said, I stayed with my aunt and they was sort of old. Mm-hmm. And when I, when, I, when I left them went home, stayed with my mama, I was about 14, 13 years old, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't come downtown too much, because most of all I did was stay there. I would take care of my grandma, because she was blind. Mm-hmm. I stayed with my aunt with her, and I lay down there. I'd go there and pay my sister and brother. They'd come down and play with me. Mm-hmm. And uh, went back to school. I didn't really get out too much until after I uh, 
you know, left my aunt and went up there and stayed with my mama, and then I started getting a job. Mm -hmm. But when I did that, a lot of that later, uh, I had them pay at the end. Then when they had my brother, I ain't been there, I don't guess too long. Mm -hmm. That threw me back a hole again. You know, my mama didn't want to throw that nigga in, she got, you know. I don't lost one song. I ain't gonna lose you. I ain't gonna lose that later. If I do that, that's bearing me too, you know. Mm -hmm. But they put up. That's throw me back again a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I guess maybe that's why I was so wild when I was young. <laughs> yeah. And they yeah. all have had a little wild streak in them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I remember my mom and my grandma, I remember mm -hmm. my grandma was mm -hmm. and she would send me down town to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. and I would go in. She'd always give me enough money to go to the show while I was downtown. Yeah. Well, to the I didn't go to the show too much. I didn't I don't think I got to the show. Mm -hmm. I learned how to cook chicken. I learned how to cook chicken when I stayed in Maine cook, pick, you know, pick them. Mm -hmm. I did all stuff like that. They were, now they taught me well. Yeah. But they you know, they wasn't uh, like I said they were pretty old. They didn't believe in uh, going out a lot. They bought me new bikes and uh, I ride it, but I couldn't ride it no point. You know, no point she could see me. You know, she mm -hmm. don't matter. You know, that was when they ran my brother. I was all right. Right. Then I went home for mama. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then we needed another bike for the paper round. Yeah. And what we going to get that one? That one. That one. I drove again again. Yeah. What did you What did you do after you got the car? You and Melvin. Well, we kept working. He would He would drive it. I thought you were going to make it. I thought you'd be late for your own funeral. Yeah, I, I went, I don't know how I got lost. I went up there to, uh, like the Pharaoh's building or somewhere. And I, I thought I saw that white cat come back here. Yeah, I, 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 oh, you did? That's what you mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. got lost and I got confused out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he was with us. Hey, did they pay five dollars down there in Montgomery when we were down there? I know mm -hmm. they did. They didn't, I know they paid for the hotel, didn't they? So you were there, they wouldn't win. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. buy our own family. Everybody now was family. Mm -hmm. They paid for everything. Boy, it was a big to do. They paid yeah. us. And uh, it, it was about 40, 40 families went uh, oh, yeah. when the, the whole well, civil rights. The civil rights. Uh, uh, and Laura. Laura, right. The whole yeah. um, Laura Mark yeah. Dean yeah. at the Southern Palms at Long Center. Right. Yeah, um, he never had that. That was even more. Yeah. Oh, wow. Vernon and Jordan were there, wasn't mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. He was there. And, um, um, who that? I think Andrew food. Young and uh, they had food. Yeah. This was the dedication then. The old yeah, they were the young, uh, right? When he just got to do with it, uh, right? Yeah, they were getting to with it. Yeah. So they they invited the whole family now. Mm -hmm. the they whole everybody, family. yeah, the law folk doing it during that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. doing the civil rights movement. Mm -hmm. So they they had you at a at a hotel. They paid for the hotel. No, uh, uh, I told you I'm pretty sure they did that because they did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they paid for all that. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite know about the food. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah, that's, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that's probably the grand opening there. Yeah, they yeah. ain't yeah. nobody that did that when you did that. Yeah, they may yeah. have invited the people, you know, all of some, the uh, survivors of the people that had been killed. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. right. That's what they did. Mm -hmm. They had folks from Chicago, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Some of them got up and spoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by bad it was back then. Uh, yeah. Man, what do you remember about that that day that uh, Virgil was shot? Well, that, that day I was watching a, a a football game. I remember watching a football game, and uh, James and Virgil had went to those center to uh, get a bicycle, purchase a bicycle from my uncle, mm -hmm. and they flashed on the news. Uh, about the girl, the bombing of the 16th Free Baptist Church, and you know, it like a, a, a just ship. I was about 12, mm -hmm. somewhere long now, and uh, you know, my mind just dawned on them. Mm -hmm. And you might have thought about their safety, and right? So, yeah. Right during that time, and uh, and after about two o'clock, you know, they, they weren't back, and you know, look like it just. Uh, I just walked and tossed and turned, and my mother had uh, went to the usher board. The church had went off, you know, the bit and usher board, and uh, she had gotten there. And uh, another lady came by there and asked her, was her, all the children there? And uh, she said, no, two of them. You know, two of them hadn't. And, and she said, well, uh, come on, you better go with them. And that's when they went, and she went out there and uh, found her two brothers. One that got killed and yeah. Jane was out there. Mm -hmm. 
in the uh, in the paper they said that you had pleaded with your mother not to uh, let them go that day. You right. Got, I, I just had a, uh, you know, usually our grandmother taught you know the uh, to, to share. You know, if one one had a piece of bread, you know, the other one had. Right. But on on that particular day, it looked like I just uh, dawned on me not to. Let let Virgin have my bicep and you know, not to let them go. It was just um, you know, just a feeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you know how uh, he persuaded Jane to carry him out there. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it just um, yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. That you yeah, that's just, just, just one of those things. But I, I didn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Now I never never will really forget it. Yeah. What was it like? Did did your family ever sit down and talk about uh, what had happened? Did your mother and father sit down with, with the children uh, at any time? I know I asked James the same question, and he said they probably were trying to protect him. Right, didn't talk. Uh, right, she it, but... she tried to get around around him. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, you know, during uh, every year. Particularly Mother Day, you know, we'd go and clean the graveyards off, and mm -hmm. everybody was him. Yeah, she didn't really mean that. Mm -hmm. She, yeah, she no. didn't, she didn't want him to go. Protecting him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She even, she, she get around even mentioning toward him. Mm -hmm. But she didn't have that right to get my auntie and uncle when I live with her. Right. Yeah, but they always put flowers on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you just, you just recently went. To, uh, to their graves, like, when, mm -hmm. I went, when I went to them flowers, I think that's yeah. about the first, first time, time I've been there. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. She never asked me to go. I told her, I told her, let me, with the interview. I said, well, then they would get me to go. And I, she didn't know I'd go to the graveyard, put flowers on my bed, and on your hand. But she never was in anything about going over there doing that for them. Mm -hmm. And like I said, she wouldn't even let me ride. Tell me, she wouldn't even let me walk, walk to high school no more after that. No, she paid a man named Jimmy Hennigan Hen Hen to pay, yeah. pay, pay, pay me to school. Mm -hmm. She said, I don't want one. She said, I don't want to lose another one. That dude yeah. had to bury me too. Did she have all of you driven to school then after that? Mm -hmm. All the children? Well, you? after that, I think things started getting a little bit better after yeah. that. You know what I mean? I'm talking about. But my other sister and brother started going. Yeah, yeah. so they, she was, they were they were out for better than school. they had bosses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and start participating in different activities yeah. where your mother wouldn't let you, after you got out of school, she wanted yeah. you at home, right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So after the other children started growing up, then she got a little bit better. And see, Dad yeah. went hard, hard with her mother, what happened, no way. Mm -hmm. And he, she told him some okay, low. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'd go along with what she said. Mm -hmm. And where did you say your mother worked at? Tuxedo, she's a lady now in the school. Yeah. Right. 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 The school for education. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you think um, that whole experience affected you in your growing up? Yeah. Well, it, it affected, uh, you know, very uh, deeply because, uh, like I told the lady that uh, did the interview, just like a, a, a piece of pie, you know, you, you take a uh, you bake a pie and take a slice out of that pie, then you, you have a piece missing. And now, you know, that, that, that really had an effect, man. You know, as, as yet today. It's always be that missing piece. Always be a missing piece. Right. Mm -hmm. No. What do you think Virgil would have been doing now if he had lived? You ever thought about that? Yeah, I've I thought about that. I, you know, would like to see him uh, get grown like us and he probably had a family. Uh, no doubt about it. He probably, you know, went on. He's a little working. Yeah. He's a good, good work on it. Good provider. Now, you and Virgil were close uh, in age. Y'all real close as far as uh, relationships as well. Mm -hmm. um, what about the other children? How did how did they, you know, how did they accept this whole thing? Well, I, I would I would think you know they, they knew uh, they, they were kind of missing too, but they were they were a bit younger, you know, wasn't uh, quite like he he and I were, right. you know, that 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 actually knew what happened. Mm -hmm. 
Do you remember going back to school after it happened? What was that experience like? It was it was real sad. Uh, you know, my teachers and and uh, classmates that took up some money, you know, for uh, buy flowers at the funeral, and it was uh, you know everybody you know giving their condolences, you know, telling how sorry it was. It was uh, it was it was sad. Um, the, in, in return to school, did your teachers try to protect you in any way? Uh, what what was the atmosphere like when, when you went back? Well, I don't think she tried to, uh, you know, she treated, you know, me just like any other kid, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, see, that, that experience, you know, I obviously, if it hadn't happened to you, you can't really imagine, you right. mm -hmm. just right. try to imagine. Mm -hmm. but you just can't imagine, you know, what an impact that would have on somebody uh, to lose somebody so close to you. Mm -hmm. And really, over nothing. Right, over nothing. That's what I call center. Yeah. Um, and that's part of that, that whole idea of, of, of this thing about race just being so, so crazy, you know. And, and, and uh, the, you know, many times we, I think I, I really think that Either your father or somebody told told the children that this is something that some things that happen that we we'll never understand. We can understand why. How have you dealt with that? You know, in terms of the understanding of, of why Virgil was there, a uh, divine reason for for his dying. Uh, do you think it was just all? Well, it, at the time, I thought it was all for nothing, but it, it, as time grew by, uh, I, I feel that it's a, you know, it, it's a reason. I believe it's a reason for everything. And uh, no, no, no question about it, uh, at, at the start of that launch, the civil rights movement, with the bombing of the four girls and uh, Bush's death, and I think they had another boy got shot in the end for that, that yeah. same day, John Robert. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember, I think President Kennedy uh, declared that a, a mourn, you know, the flag, a uh, flag half man. Right, yeah. And then he was assassinated. Right, and, and that November month, um, about a month later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you have not talked about that you would want to? Want somebody who would view this tape to know about Virgil, about your relationship, about how this thing uh, has uh, affected you and your family that we don't that we don't know about at this point. Anything else that you want to just share with us? Um, you know, if you you know, say, I know that. It's, it's very difficult to talk about the issue. Mm -hmm. uh, but are there, would there be anything that you would want to say to somebody that may have been in the same position that you were in at that time, and now you're grown, and maybe someone today would, would have the same kind of situation to happen, what would you say to them to comfort them? Knowing what you have been through, is there any way to calm a person? Yeah, well, uh, you know, it it, it, would, it would be a, a sad thing, and and we would feel, you know, uh, that that sympathize with them because uh, we've been through that. Mm -hmm. But now, if, if as uh, this happened today, you know, there's there wasn't no justice then in in this early sixties, yeah. you know, none whatsoever. Probably like I told him, I was probably even caught the two guys. That's yes, right. They they went. Uh, I think out of the bombing of the uh, they old girl, they, they they never really catch those. They went right on and and, 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 and caught those guys and what three months probation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know that's that, that's no justice at all. But um, we think it would be different today. Mm -hmm. But we we would uh, 
we we sympathize with them because you know we know what they they've been through to yeah. lose someone like that. Yeah. It, it's a uh, it's a pain that really you know it it, it may ease but it, it never goes away. Yeah. You well really that's a lesson that your family's learned. Right. That the rest of us could never learn that lesson. You know. Right. Uh, and I know that it's very difficult for you to, to even explain to us to really make us understand how you feel because uh, yeah, that's just a, one of those things that you just simply cannot explain. I don't think. No. Mm-hmm. And in time, it takes time for something like that, and you never get over it. You never forget it. Mm-hmm. You may know something about it, but I, and you think about it, you know. And and yet yeah, we don't we don't hold no grudge uh, as we stayed in the paper uh, against Larry Joe Sims and, and Michael Parker. You know that that's no grudge whatsoever. Again, if you saw them today, what would you say to them? Hmm. If you saw them today, what would you say to them? Uh, it, well, if if I saw them today, the I'd um, I'd ask you know how, how you doing, how you been, and I uh, ask them you no know, other cycle what you've done. I think one contact of Jane uh, a month or two ago and told him how sorry he was. Uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to come and see the talk. I know it's not an easy thing to do. Um, but I think what you're doing, you're really aiding this project because, you know, for so long, Virgil really was sort of forgotten, you know. And now with what has taken place, and I noticed that the uh, memorial service the other day for the girls, you know, his name was on the... Uh, Amazing. Yeah. 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 So uh, as a result of what you are doing, like you're doing here in the interviews that you've done, what you're doing really is letting the world know about Virgil. And uh, so I have to commend you for that. Yeah. Well, I, our mother, she passed last February, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure if she was here, she would have been here, mm-hmm. you know, and helped do this interview. Right. Uh, yeah. we're, we're glad to be able to do it. And I want to let the world know who Virgil was. Right. 13 year old innocent victim of seven And they let me know that. Just want to make a dumb money down my car. That sad price of pain. Yeah. That's you know, just in the wrong place and the wrong time. Right. You know, like you say, if, if I don't know, I don't, I don't see the wrong place. We just trying to make a living. Mm-hmm. You know, we we didn't even have a we didn't even have a knife. You take like now, like I told the guy at work, I said, I don't even throw a knife or doing that. I don't mean nobody no harm. I just want them to let me do my job. And I let them do their you know what I mean? There's some folks just violent it, you know. And I really hate that. Yeah, yeah. What they say. Did you read about the trial in the paper? Yeah. Uh, how they, they do it. I mean, they, they couldn't find absolutely nothing. Not even a, not even a star, you know, on the, on the way I found it. Mm-hmm. Not nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's another question I wanted to raise with you about the trial. Do you remember the trial? Did you go to it? Did parents let you yeah, go? I, I sneaked in there. My mother didn't want me to go, and uh, but I remember sneaking in there about about two days. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a cousin that I uh, pleaded, you know, to kind of, you know, to sneak me in there. Mm-hmm. They didn't know about. It. They didn't know that you were in there. <laughs> Not to this day, I don't think he don't. Uh, right. mm-hmm. That's my mama pregnant. My mama. My mama. The ball going like yeah, that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she didn't want us to go, you know. Mm-hmm. You went anyway, though. Yeah. She was sort of, how they had to go with it, she was sort of, sort of, you know, real particular. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah well. And you know what, as a result of that, there were a lot of other parents that became. Oh, see, she was, yeah. But she, she, she was a nice lady. She didn't believe in, you know, she saw like me, I guess. She never, she never believed in hurting nobody or doing nothing wrong. But she always tried to help people, you know. And, it was, and she lost somebody like that because Voyager was a, was, a, was a good boy. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it made it too much better. Yeah. No, he did not like to see one. 
Yeah. I mean, when you live, you can get some money out of you, I guess. So. Mm. He was trying to say he liked working too. I guess that my man was giving up the wanted the car so bad. Mm. And uh, he liked working. Yeah. But like I said, me and Mel we ended up getting more. We got job and search day. <laughs> we didn't give up it though. Mm-hmm. Well, again, I appreciate the time that you guys have taken. Uh, and this will be housed here at the Institute. And if there's a time when, you know, you have family and you want to see it, or somebody you just call me and I can show it to you or whatever. Uh, but it will be be here and people may be doing research or whatever. They want to see something from the, the Ware family. We just have it, you know. So I uh, appreciate y'all taking the time. I appreciate it. Well, Rachel, Ray, and John, I um, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs>